everybody, it's John Christopher, and in this video, I am going to show you how you can download uh, my MD-102 study guide book that I'm in the process of making. Uh, you can get uh, a part of the book just to try out, test out, and I'm asking for some feedback, but I need you to understand a couple things, so please just listen to me for a moment. I'm going to explain the concepts of the book, what it's for, and why I'm doing this, and all of that, and just give me just a moment of your attention so so you understand the logic behind what I'm doing here okay the first thing I want you to understand is I've been kinda of going on this journey of I want to create an audio training course for people to listen to while they are doing things like well driving down the road or doing yard work or you know doing housework or whatever it may be I know that when I was learning this stuff um, I used to always want there to be some kind of an audio uh, training version to help me prepare for exams, like the MD-102 or something along those lines. And I mean, doing doing certification and all that for t over 25 years, I've always wanted something like that, but there was never anything really close to what I wanted. So, you know, a lot of people think, oh, well, you can only learn by visually seeing things and doing things. That is true about a lot of concepts. But did you know there's a lot of concepts in these certification courses that you can learn just by ha having somebody explain it to you in an easy, uh, easy to understand format, like by explaining real world examples and analogies? You can, you absolutely can, um, if you, if it's put in the right format. Now, I wanted to put something like that on Audible, which is the most popular platform, maybe Spotify, but Audible is sort of the target. And what I discovered was that in order to do that, I had to create a, a ebook version of my audio. Uh, well, I already was creating a manuscript of what I was going to say in my audio training. So what I started doing was kind of sprucing up this manuscript and putting it in an ebook e format. So before I can get my audio training out there, I've got to have this ebook. And so what I've settled on is the MD-102 on-the-go study guide for the Endpoint Administrator Associate Certification. So essentially this is, I'm starting with the N MD-102, and I want to explain uh, what I'm doing here. Before I show you how you can get part of this for free to try out and then give me feedback, I want to explain a few the goal of this, okay? So here is the goals. First off, this is a straight to the point study guide. This isn't a textbook packed with lengthy explanations and images. Uh, it's very, very streamlined. It's a streamlined study guide that's designed to deliver the essential facts and concepts in a clear, concise way. Now, the other thing would be it's focused on core concepts. So my goal is going to be to present this information as quickly and efficiently as I can and make it easy for you to grasp the main ideas without all this unnecessary filler that you see in a lot of cases. The other thing is to provide lots of real-world examples and relatable analogies. To me, that's one of the most important things for learning concepts, especially when you're you're listening or you're doing quick study without a bunch of visuals. Okay, so I'm going to do that lots in this book. Um, I'm going to, again, preparing for e audio format. My ultimate goal is to get this in audio format. Okay, um, so the uh, the audio recordings will f will follow the completion of this ebook, um, and then it will be a. This is the goal is to make this very adaptable for busy schedules. People that are uh, trying to balance work life and study life, this is sort of like an on the go training. Um, the the ebook will be set up that way as well as the audio. Uh, I will also be keeping this up to date with Microsoft's changes. You'll notice my table of contents is laid out exactly like the official test objectives. So ex this is laid out in a way that's exactly like the official test objectives, and I'm going to do my best to keep those up to date as I can. Okay. Uh, now, we have built in for flexibility and learning styles, so the guide's going to cater to both visual learners who want a clear structured layout and, uh, and audit auditory learners who will benefit from the, the planned audible version. The goal of real world, the goal of this is going to be real world preparation. Beyond the exam, the book aims to prepare you for real life endpoint management as well. So I'm going to be explaining this in a, in a real world format. And then the last thing I want to point out that's very important is this is not a full course. So in other words, you can't just pick this book up and then expect to 
just read the book and then pass the whole exam. This is meant to be a companion to some other type of training. Whether you're taking training in a classroom or whether you're doing a, a, a Udemy course, like what, I, what I'm doing, what, this is meant to be a companion to that. Now, the other thing I want to add is that as far as like my Udemy course and you know training and all that goes, it will always be its own thing. And this is not going to be a requirement for you to pass the test. This is for people that want something extra that they can they can drill into the exam with. My course will always be a standalone thing. Okay. Also point out that I will be selling this. Um, I'm not going to be able to just, I'm, what I'm, but I'm not going to charge very much money because I'm going to plan, I'm planning on doing this with all of the different courses and things like that. I want to get audio training and all that, and I will have to, to sell it, but I'm not planning on charging very much. And then for my students that are, you know, Udemy students and things like that, I'm even going to see if there's a way I can do a, like a, a, a good discount for you. So, um, I want to make that clear as well. So how is the book broken out? You'll see there's a table of contents. The table of contents is listed here. I've got the first three chapters available for you to check out. Okay, here is, I have a nice little introduction. It talks about what this book is, what this book is not. And uh, so that kind of clarifies that. And then here is an example how it's broken out. Chapter one, choosing appropriate device types. You're going to see the formatting. I try to use bold print here. I give use cases, real world examples uh, on each of these. Use case, real world examples. Uh, I give a nice little summary at the end of each little section. So as you move into the next section, like this is joining devices to Microsoft Enter ID. Why join devices? Quickly explain that. How to join devices. This is not going to provide you know exact portal locations or any of that. You wouldn't remember it anyway if you were reading it or listening to it. The goal is purely concepts, driving the concepts home. Some of that, some concepts, you know, you'll have to see visually, you'll have to do hands-on. This is going to be used as a study tool. That is the point I'm trying to make. Okay, so how do you download this thing if you want to try it out and give me some feedback? Okay, so you're going to go to examlabpractice.com slash md102book and make sure that this part is all lowercase. examlabpractice.com slash md102book. And you'll see right here, I tell you I'm excited to share a preview of the first three chapters of my upcoming study guide for MD102. This book is designed as a complimentary resource, so I'm just reinforcing this here. Please note my MD102 video course will always be a complete standalone product. And this is not a requirement for success with the video course. Instead, it's an additional tool to enhance the learning experience. So you can download it here, okay? When you click that link, you'll go right here. And then another thing is, I want your feedback. After reviewing, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Your feedback is incredibly helpful as I refine the book to make uh, it the best possible resource for certification success. So here it is. You can fill out this little form Put your name, email, that's optional, and then the feedback. Okay, so I would love it if you take some time to do that. Um, and I hope, just be aware if you put your email address, I mean, I could I could email you and ask for some more feedback. Um, you know, but anyway, I would love it if you would uh, check it out. Um, I, I've worked hard on this thing, and I'm, uh, I'm proud of it. I really do feel like this is going to be a game changer for a lot of people that are looking for a quick study guide or audio training. All right. All right. Well, um, I hope you'll, uh, you'll check that out. Also check out examlabpractice.com slash courses. I have a, a special, a, a discount going on right now, a discount code on examlabpractice.com slash courses on all of my courses. So I hope you'll check that out and I really hope you'll give me some feedback.